with you guys what's up with it it is the 5th of september 2017 today is tuesday and it is the day after labor day and i have come on to just say what's up what's up it's been a long time since i did this type of upload you know um we have been doing the live sessions all throughout the summertime um, we had so much fun with that. We're still going to continue to do that, but we're just going to just move things around a little bit so then therefore I can get back to a variety program and instead of just sitting in one box and just doing one thing, I can't do it like that. It's just, it's stunning my growth. So we got to move things around a little bit and um, get back to some of the basics and just have some fun with it. Um... Where do I begin? Where do I start? Where do I start? <laughs> um, my birthday is on Sunday. I am going to be 46 years old. Just, just take that in for a minute. I will be 46 years old. And when I tell you I'm so ecstatic about it, Oh my God, family, I have come into a season in my life that I dreamt about these days. I dreamt about this very moment, you know what I mean, in my life, this very time period, this very time frame. I prayed for this, and now that it has manifested and has come full circle, man, it's just beautiful. Oh, okay. I am burning incense, so if you guys see, you know, like the smoke bellowing this way, don't be alarmed. It's just the fact that I'm burning incense over there, and the incense that I am burning is, I believe that it's protection, and um, it's a blend um, with, like, sandalwood and different things in there, and so <clears throat> that's what's burning, so if it's bellowing this way, don't freak out. Like, wait a minute, hold on, what I'm seeing? No, it's just the smoke from the incense, so. Um, so yeah, I will be 46 on Sunday, September 10th, and oh my God, as I look back at the chapters of my life and the stories of my life, you know, man, I'm not mad at it. You know what I mean? I've 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 witnessed unprecedented favor in my life. I've uh, I've been embraced with so much grace in my life, and I'm just. I'm just happy. Um, I have found love in my life, um, and I'm happy about it. Um, wow. I don't even know where to begin about it, other than I am going to, to keep that part of my life private, so I won't talk about it so much, um, but you guys kind of see the different things on um, my social medias and such. Um, in reference to where we go and what we're doing and all that kind of stuff. But for the most part, I won't just come on here and just be overt about the specifics. Okay. Just allow Auntie to have that personal time. Okay. Um, but um, just know that I am in good hands. I am well and I am happy. And I, it just hit me like a ton of bricks because I wasn't ready, you know. I was like, you know, I was still going through some things. And I just wasn't ready to um, bring somebody else in until I had closure um, to my last uh, relationship. And so um, now that, um, you know, I've so surpassed that. And now it's like now I'm open to the possibilities. And I'm just happy. I mean, he treats me very, very well. Um, the respect is just regal. Um, is it new? Yes, it's new. But, and then too, girls, you know, it's like, you know, I'm not saying that it's about leaving my options open. It's just the fact that I've never been single, really. You know what I'm saying? It's like, I'll go out of something and I'll get back into something really quick. You know, it's like I have no downtime. Like, this last time was the longest downtime that I had. And I had waited, like, what was that, 91 days before I'd even, like, totally considered even going out on a date um, to where, as you know, I was opening up to the feelings 
Um, so I waited like 90 days for that. But then, and then, um, you know, things just, things was just moving, you know. And I was just kind of holding on, you know, like a cat on the wall. And I'm like sliding down, but I'm trying to claw in. It's like, no, I'm not ready, you know. And so even still now, you know, he asked me all the time. It's like, okay, so where do I place us? Where are we at? You know, what do I call us? And, um, you know, so I haven't gotten past that part yet. You know what I mean? And, and again, you know, in case baby is watching this, it's not the fact that um, I am, you know, trying to keep my options open. That's just not it. It's just the fact that, you know, I'm just... You know, I, I just want to enjoy the moment, enjoy the time, enjoy what we have. We're eating good. We're sleeping hella good. The conversation is just bomb. You know, the sharing and everything is just, man, you take care of me. And it's just, it's just, it's just cool. It's just cool, ladies. It's like, what, holla, you know what I'm saying? Auntie back in, you know? And so, um, so yeah. So this weekend, um, I plan on um, spending, my kids was like, well, mom, what do you want for your birthday? And I was like, well, you know, I'm, I'm kind of good. You know, I don't know what, I don't know what I want really. Um, I want you to be able to drive, son. That's what I want. Okay. Um, and uh, my daughter's doing awesome in school. So it's like, okay, just continue on path. Um, my son is a star on the varsity team. He's doing his thing. He's trying to, you know, maintain everything and juggle everything around and, and as well as maintain a high GPA. So he's doing his thing as well as dating. I mean, y'all, my baby is like really dating. Like, yeah, dating. Like condom dating. Okay, so we have had to have the talk. Um, I've had to, you know, issue out the condoms. And baby gave me some condoms like, look, check this out. Give it to baby boy. Baby boy going to need these, right? <laughs> so, baby, good looking out. You know what I mean? So, baby is the one that gave me the condoms to give to my baby. So, um, so yeah. Um, so, things are good. Things are, things are really, 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 really good. Um, you know, it's more so the things that are going on in the world. You know, this morning... Um, IC45 has rescinded DACA. Um, and for those of you guys that don't know what DACA is, I know here in California it's, it's a great deal of, um, of DACA, as they call them, dreamers. Um, and they're, they're, you know, undocumented workers. Their parents were, um, but the children were born here. And so, uh, Wow, and they've been here like on visas and whatnot. I don't really know so much of the specifics, but I do know that 45 is like rescinding the whole thing. He's like, you know what, let's cancel this out. Let's phase this out. I no longer want the government to fund this, uh, you know, entity. So it's just bad, you know. And then last week we had uh, Hurricane Harvey, which was, oh my God, devastating. Um, Cynthia, I was watching a few of your live sessions and it was comforting to know that you and the family were well and you guys are truly amongst the blessed because, you know, as they're saying that it's over hundreds of thousands, um, hundred plus thousands homes that have been destroyed and they're saying that it's only like 10 to 15 percent had, um, homeowners insurance, you know, so man, Family, I can't say it enough, you know, ladies, I can't say it enough. Insurance is, you know, insurance is everything, okay? Um, from life insurance to your auto insurance to your homeowner's insurance to your renter's insurance, you need to have insurance. I've done plenty of videos back in the archives, back, you know, and it's like, you know, we're going to have, we're coming back full circle here um, on my on my channel um, I've been away because it's like, you know, what else do I talk about? You know what I'm saying? I've talked about so many things throughout the course of the years to where it's, it's like, now what do I talk about? You know, um, it's like a reinventing or coming back after like a hiatus. It's like, okay, because the thing is, I don't have a script. I don't have a script. I'm just going freehand, just off the top of the dome, whatever comes to my thoughts. That's just what I say. 
you know, and so I don't have like anything. Uh, now, when I do uh, do like uh, commentaries on shows and whatnot, because I am getting ready to watch Love and Hip Hop, which comes on at 12 o'clock specific um, standard time. So, and it's 11.47 in the a.m. And so um, we're going to shut it down as it gets um, nearer as I want to lay across my bed and watch it. And I didn't really see it last night. So I do want to catch up on that. Um, as you guys see that I did uh, the cop salad video um, as me and my children are really trying to. Because, see, let me also tell you guys, when you guys are taking your supplements and stuff, um, you need to go, you know, hard in the paint for like three months. Then you have to give your body a rest, allow your liver and everything and your immune system and all that stuff, you know, to kind of take a break from your supplements. Then you go back and start a new cycle. Well, I've been on hiatus. Um, some people go on hiatus for a month. Uh, some people go for uh, six weeks, whatever. I've been pretty much on hiatus for about a month. Okay, from taking my supplements, but I've been eating so good because I hadn't been eating well in a long time. And I think it was because of, you know, man, what I was going through, you know what I'm saying? And it's like, but then um, once I got into this relationship with baby, then therefore, man, he's been feeding my ass like you would not believe. I mean, oh my God, I wake up to cream of wheat in like martini glasses. It's like his presentation is just so cold-blooded. So uh, you guys probably seen it like on Facebook and whatnot. And shout out to my girl, Tysha. I'm going to get her a uh, master's in nursing. Um, Miss uh, Nurse Practitioner. Uh, yeah. Um, she posted the other day. She said, girl, look, I got me some oatmeal and bacon. And so, I mean, no, cream of wheat and bacon. Because that's my shit, and that's what baby cooks me. Cream of wheat, bacon, malta meal, bacon, toast. Oh, my God. I've been having, we've been having some bomb-ass drinks. Um, I've gotten a, a liking for martinis. Um, I've gotten a liking for margaritas with extra cream, babe. Extra cream. Babe been putting me a gang of whipped cream in there. And, man, I mean, it's just been just, girls, look. Hey, holla, <laughs> holla, you know what I'm saying? Hey. Oh my God. It's like if I could just, sometimes I just, well, I'm not going to do it on here, but oh my God, sometimes I just scream, just scream at the top of my, top of my lungs, just thanking, just being so grateful to the Father, to the Son, and to my, oh my God, my Holy Spirit. And, you know, it's like, oh, my God, you know, it's y'all listen to me as you begin to get older. If your life is not becoming easier for you, if you're not having fun, then there was a mistake made somewhere. OK, you might want to reroute and, and pull back and, and, and do something else because, you know, you should be having fun, you know, and it's like, man, now that. You know, now that I got a daughter in college, you know, Anthony's working full time and Isaiah's doing his thing. And it's like, man, it's like now it's like a reinventing of myself, not only just for the platform here, but, you know, just in my personal life, because my responsibilities have changed a great deal. So it's like now what do I do for me? And I've been finding myself, you know, I go in and out of hermit seasons, whereas I just sit here in my room, it's quiet, I'm burning incense, and I'm reading, and, you know, I'm taking notes, and I'm journaling, <laughs> excuse me, uh, I've got the hiccups coming in, <laughs> I got the hiccups, so, um, but then too, it could be because of the air, I'm bringing so much air, and I just had, um, a real big swig of my drink, so, you know, I don't know, I guess I got little um, gurgles and bubbles and whatnot on my juice, I don't know, or just from the air coming in, but at any rate, um, wow, just wow, man, I'm just so thankful, you know, I'm just so thankful, man, you know, because there's so many things in this life to be worried about. There's so much going on. You know, families are getting torn apart. 
you know, people are trying to save their home, got to move in a new home. You know, finances aren't the best for everybody, you know, but to, you know, find some reasons to smile and for someone to give you those reasons, man, it is just a beautiful feeling. You know, it's like sometimes it's like, man, it just makes me like want to cry inside. Not because of a sorrow. It's just the fact that I'm just so thankful. You know what I mean? I'm so grateful. It's just, wow. You know what I'm saying? Don't knock my vibe, you know? It's like, you know, I'm, 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 um, I'm taking full control of my energy and where I drop it off at and where I pick up more energy. And as I was saying last night, you know, um, oh, not on the platform, but as I was saying <laughs> last night, we were talking about energy and whatnot, but your energy is, man. You know, my my energy, I I, I just don't want to just, I, I, look, I ain't trying to bring no bad vibes up in my personal space. I'm good, okay, on crazy vibes, up and down personalities, this and that, turnarounds, twist outs, arguments, fighting, this and this and this. No, that is truly, that's not living, nor is it love, you know, it just isn't, you know, so it's like, Family, holla, you know what I mean? Just holla, you know? Um, it's time. It's the time of the year for me to make my appointments, in which I hadn't. Because, um, you know, I usually get my PAP and my annuals and all that stuff around my birthday every year. I haven't even made those appointments, okay? Because I feel so good. I feel good, you know what I mean? I don't feel, praise God, okay? Um, I don't feel as though I need to go before the doctor and have something looked at, checked out, whatever. I have nothing hurting, nothing, no ailments, nothing. You know what I mean? My bills are paid. My house payment is paid. You know, I feel good, you know. My car is running well, you know. And what can I say, you know. I just thank you. Just thank you. And I thank you guys, too, for keeping, you know, me in your prayers, me and my children, um, for supporting my platform, you know, YouTube is not like it used to be, you know, back, you know, I, it's been seven years since I've been on this platform, you know, and things have changed. People have evolved, changed, got off, stepped down, moved out, got on, all kinds of stuff, you know what I mean? And to still come on from time to time and somebody is still willing to just listen, it's a blessing. And I don't take it lightly, you know. So continue to pray for my platform. Continue to support my platform. You know, um, reach out to me on my social medias and stuff like that, you know. I know I still got a whole bunch of waiting list people on Facebook and stuff. And I've been moving that around as well. I know on my Instagram, I still got the hundreds. Nearly a thousand or so um, on the waiting list. You know, on the, um, you know, for me to... Uh, accept your stuff what i'm going to do and I'm, let me just go on to say this right now because also a young lady has sent me a, a friend request on facebook last week and me and baby was laying across the bed and i was you know he was going through his phone on what he was doing and i was going through my phone and i accidentally um canceled your friend request and i cannot even remember her name it was like you know i'm just scrolling up scrolling up and somehow or another it you know, it like, um, I ended up pressing ignore or cancel your friend request or something. I cannot remember her name. But if you are watching this and you're like, damn, auntie, you just canceled my friend request. What's up with that? It was not done personally. I swear to God, it wasn't. Now, I have blocked a, um, a few people from my platform that can no longer uh, view my uh, get down. You know what I'm saying? From time to time, you have to go through, go through a cleansing, clean out what doesn't work and bring forth. So then, therefore, I can call upon my own tribe that's really, you know, that's down with what I do here. And so, um, but I, it wasn't intentionally girly. It really, really wasn't. So send it to me again. Um, if somebody did do that, if, if this is resonating with somebody, then, you know, just send me one again and trust and believe I will, I will see to it that you're, you're, you're added on just for that simple fact that I did fuck off that one. Um, and, uh, what else is going on? What else is going on? Um, 
So, uh, anyway, it's 11.57. I guess I start winding down. Um, I do plan on doing regular rotations on the cooking videos once again. Um, if you guys have some suggestions on content, suggestions on, you know, you know what we should talk about and what um, I could respectfully share. Um, then, therefore, send me an email at 116 at gmail.com. And, um, I guess that's it. I guess that's it. <laughs> I guess that's it. So, on that note, family, I love you guys. I love you guys for watching. I'm going to lay across my bed, get me an ice cream sandwich, and I'm going to play my game. I've been playing my games on my iPad, too. I play, I play Journey, what is it called? Journey Mahani. Something like that, baby, it put me on. It's like all these little um, boxes and stuff that you're connecting the pieces, like you're matching the pieces, and it's like, I think I'm in India now, um, and it's just beautiful. Or did I leave India and I'm someplace else? I'm like in the 40s. I'm like in round 45. Bay is like on 30 something, but then he don't, he only got like one star, and the way I'm doing mine, I wanna make sure I get three, three stars on every one. Not his ass. He on, oh, baby, I'm almost up there where you at. No, sir. No, sir. I got three stars on mine, boo. You only got one star. So, no, you're not where I'm at. Mm -mm. You already know I'm very competitive. Quit playing with me. Um, to do what I'm doing, I'm going to need you to get three stars on each one. That's what I'm going to need you to do. So, at any rate, family, it is 11.59 in the a.m. I'm getting ready to go. Watch Love and Hip Hop. Hollywood, see what's up, and um, that's it. That's it. Until we meet again, until uh, a couple days, um, we'll come on and probably I'll go through my emails. And because you guys have been, and I do encourage you guys to continue to do that as well, is to send me. Um, you know, um, like, auntie, I'm going through this and this and this. You know, some Dear Abby type stuff. Um, I've been getting my fair share of that on Facebook. and But if you can do so, send it to me on my Gmail account. Because then, therefore, I don't have to go through everything else to really, you know, read it. And then, too, if I'm on Facebook, on my IMs, then I get all kind of stuff. You know, people coming in saying all kind of stuff. And, you know, I hate to be, like, ignoring people, you know. But I'll turn around when I come on my IMs on Facebook. It's like, man, it's like once I come on and then I get other pop-ups like, hey, auntie, what's up? Or, you know, and this and this. So that's why I don't go on it as often. But if you send me an a, a email to my Gmail account, then therefore there's no disruptions. I can get to it and I can read it and then I can continue on doing whatever I'm doing and then I can come back to it and so on and so forth. And so we're going to do that as well. So during the week, we're going to rotate with our cooking videos. We're going to have sit-downs like this. We're going to do our relationship segments. And tell me what else you guys want to talk about. Let me know. Send me a Gmail. I love you guys. I love you guys for watching. 12 or 1 p.m. I'm out of here. All right, family. Love you guys. Bye.